Hey my loves, how are you? How are you doing? I know this is like that long friend that just like airs the group chat and says she's gonna come to the event, but she never does. So you know what, let me just address the elephant in the room. And that elephant is that I've been gone for like a month and a half. And that's literally just because I needed a minute I needed a mental minute, you know, when you need a minute just to mentally be okay. That's what was happening, you know. So I had to kind of like regroup, get my ish together and we're back and we're better. So today's video is going to be not a review, more like just playing around using this bad boy, the James Charles X Morphe palette. And I'm pretty sure you guys have seen this literally like everywhere. So I'm not gonna give you guys a review. This is literally just gonna be me demoing the palette, showing you kind of like the colors that I like. And I'll put a few pictures up of the looks that I've done, put them here. So this is what she looks like. She is 39 colors, pigments and um, eyeshadows. And she is really, really, she's really, she really packs a punch. Like, look at that. That is so gorgeous. This color, this, like, what was it? This one here, this color here, I've been literally using, like, crazy. Anyway, I kind of just want to, like, play in color today and try out a few more bits and bobs. So I have the Huda Beauty Foundation and I have the shade um, Coffee Bean. And I was really worried this wasn't going to be my shade. But then when I um, did a little swatch today, where was the foundation, please? exact match what what and then also i have these two setting powders i've already used the beauty bakery flower powder but i want to kind of try out the um makeup obsession it's another branch of the make of the revolution um products and i want to try out their baking powder and see how good that is but then the rest of it is just going to be me playing on my makeup kind of like talking kind of like seeing how you guys are so let's just get back into it guys i'm i missed speaking to you guys like it's actually crazy but we're back and we're better and i'm now gonna just get on to doing the brows so actually you know what i'm gonna do should i do brows first no should i do eyes first no no no, no. i'm not an eyes first girl sorry <laughs> that will be dealt with later what are you guys like listening to lately i've been listening to like a lot of um uh like rap music as of late like very aggressive rap because that's just the mood i've been in like not i'm not been in the aggressive mat i've not been in an aggressive mood but i've just been in that vibe of just like yeah do you know what i mean like Okay, so now that the brows are done, Diddy, we are gonna go in with the Fenty Primer. And I really do like this primer. Like I feel like sometimes it doesn't work with certain products that I use. Like I felt like it didn't mesh well with my NYX one. Like, oh my gosh, it left like patchiness all around my mouth. But <laughs> today is a new day. Also, I saw this one tweet that was talking about how people get, like when people say they want a creaseless concealer or a powder that stops creasing. And this girl made a lot of sense. Like if you have creases on those areas on your face, it's kind of inevitable. All you can do is kind of like start the prevention process, like obviously using correct skincare and stuff. And then also using products that don't settle as much. So we're gonna go into the Huda foundation and this is in the shade what did i say coffee bean 530r so the foundation has a smell to it like it's like a rose it's like a musky it's a musky smell and it's not unbearable but I'd be happy if it wasn't there, do you know what I mean? But you can deal with it. Okay, so this looks a little bit orange on camera. But in person, it's actually pretty decent. Okay, so my camera cut out. So you probably missed like 
this face getting here. So we are gonna get into the main events. The reason why you're all here, or maybe just love me, I don't know. Like I said, I kinda wanted to do thank you, next vibe, so purpley pink, all that good stuff. And obviously, as James suggested, we are using a paint pot instead of a concealer. Sometimes listen to the creators, you know what I mean? So yeah, we're gonna take this MAC paint pot in lay and low. Okay, so we're gonna go into the palette and I'm gonna take the shade 10% off and using an M330 brush, I am going to build my crease. As you guys can see, sometimes um, the build-up in certain areas can be a bit more and look a little bit more intense. So I kind of have to like work on that. That's one thing I can say about this palette. Like I did before, I showed you guys a few of the looks that I've done already with this palette. And like some of the colours are difficult to work with, but you kind of like can finesse it, do you know what I mean? Like you can finesse it. We're taking this packing brush, which is the M166, and we're gonna go into the shade, sh you're kidding. And James did that I got from it in that look. So hopefully this is a little bit different. I really do hope we get a thank you next vibe. And then to kind of like, Define the crease. I'm going to go into um, Co James. And I'm just going to blend those two out. So now we're going to go into the shade. I think it's Love That. I'm going to take Love That on another packing brush, but a slightly smaller one. And this is the M124. So I'm going to take the same brush and I'm going to dip into Escape on the outer corner to the inner third. We're going to build that. It's like a, like, when I say tap into Spooky, just tap into Spooky. Because that's going to make the world of a difference to deepen that crease. There we go. And we're going to take it up. And then now for the pièce de résistance, we're taking Skip. And I'm going to take Skip on this small, 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 tiny M123, the tiny mini one from the James collection. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of like, I'm not going to cut the crease. I'm just going to like bring her into the inner corner and then see how she does there. Okay, so we've done our eyes. Thank you, next inspired shout out to young James Charles, a sister, a queen. I don't know why I'm in extra. Um, my eyelashes are currently drying, as in the glue is drying. And now we're just gonna quickly do a cheeky little contour, bronzer, tingling. We live, we live. So for contour, we're gonna take this um, LA Pro contour powder, and this is the deep um, duo. And I'm just gonna take that, and I'm gonna Start the contour up high. Ooh, it's starting to look a little bit musty already. Ugh. And then, okay, that's better. Okay, that's a little bit patchy, but okay. So if it does go patchy, I take the brush I use for all of my face and I just kind of like reduce the ashiness. I'm going to take my favourite bronzer, which is the LA Girl Queen bronzer, and I'm going to use this to kind of warm up my face and kind of like make my contour less intense. What you guys didn't see was me kind of like just doing like my bronzer and stuff because my, lap my laptop, my camera timed out. But anyway, we have got my headscarf off. 
eyelashes popped on, eyeliner done. Um, what's next? We've got to do some highlight and we've got to do some lips. So for today's highlight, we're gonna go with the Trophy Wife. I haven't used Trophy Wife in such a long time. I just feel like she kind of like deserves like a, a mixed attention. When I say mix, I mean she needs to be mixed with two things. Like. And then we're gonna take the Revolution um, Rose Gold Ingot Highlighter. And I'm gonna place this on top of Trophy Wife to kind of like, not create a gradient, but kind of like blend it out. So for my lips, I'm gonna take the Glory um, Lip Liner by Revolution. Tammy loves using this, makeup by Tammy here on YouTube. You guys should check her out. I've done a video on her palette that she did in collaboration with Revolution and the palette is so bomb, like you guys will love it. And I'm just gonna quickly, ugh. It's so hard. Like these, these plastic like things are just so annoying, but obviously I know hygiene purposes, it needs to be there. Instead, because I like a deep lined lip, I'm gonna take my favorite eyebrow product and just uh, create like an outline using this. Okay. And then, for lip glows, um, Ariana in the Thank You Next video had kind of like a, a nude kind of colour. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this um, liquid lipstick from Makeup Revolution called On Display. And I'm just going to put that in the centre of my lip. I'm going to take this um, lip gloss by L'Oreal called I Got The Power. Okay, so now we're going to set the face using the Nip and Fab Mattifying Fixing Mist. So guys, as you can see, this is today's video outcome. So we used the James Charles palette and I really like how it turned out because it really does remind me of like the Thank You Next cover. Like obviously it's like following the colour scheme and stuff and I'm really happy with how it turned out and the lips are inspired by how Ari had her lips in the video because she had like kind of a nude colour but I kind of wanted it to fit more to my skin tone. Guys, thank you for watching. Um, I'm not too sure what I didn't mention because my camera did cut out a little bit so so if i haven't mentioned anything it'll be in the description bar below so if you guys enjoyed this video don't forgive it a thumbs up subscribe comment i'm actually going to do this as a series i'm going today was thank you next so the next i think i'm going to do a good form shout out to cresta i'm going to do a good form eyeshadow look kind of like with the color scheme of like what she has in it and i know Melissa actually did something similar to this i'll link her video down below but i think that's what i'm going to start doing on my channel so today is the thank you next by ariana grande but yeah anyway so i'll see you guys in my next video bye i'm so grateful for my eggs.